Garmin has released firmware update 21.14 a few days ago for its Forerunner series, including the 165, 265, 955, and 965 models. This brings a big improvement to how runners can track their lactate threshold measurements. So what is lactate threshold? Well, it's a crucial metric for endurance athletes. It represents the highest intensity level at which a person can maintain steady state exercise. Uh, above this point, the body transitions from primarily using oxygen for energy to relying more heavily on anaerobic processes, leading to increased lactate production in the muscles. For example, my lactate threshold is estimated by Garmin uh, to be 161 beats per minute. Above that heart rate, and I will struggle to maintain the same running place and will need to slow down after a while. Now, the change log of firmware 21.14 describes the new feature as follows. Lactate threshold estimates are applied automatically after training with heart rate. Now, that statement doesn't bring a lot of clarity as to what the improved functionality actually consists of. Luckily, this, is, uh, this was further explained by a Garmin employee on the company's official forums. It turns out that the big change is that the new her, uh, firmware eliminates the previous requirement of wearing a chest heart rate strap and performing a guided test to determine lactate threshold. Instead, runners can now capture this data using just their watch's built-in optical uh, heart rate sensor during regular outdoor runs. Uh, the update maintains accuracy while making the feature more accessible. To access this improved functionality, users need only maintain an established VO2 max estimate and ensure they're using GPS-enabled outdoor running profiles such as run or trail run. The lactate threshold auto detection feature, enabled by default, handles the rest during regular training sessions. For those preferring manual control, Garmin has retained the option to input lactate threshold readings directly through the watch's user profile under heart rate zones. However, choosing this manual route will disable the auto detection feature. Now, this is uh, an early beta which has kickstarted the Q4 firmware release cycle for these uh, Forerunner watches, so the feature may still be a work in progress. Mm -hmm.